did you know that it's actually only the eccentric phase of the muscle contracting that causes DOMS, also known as muscle soreness, so there is a way to work out without getting sore. So when you're working out, the muscle goes through two different phases. You've got the concentric and the eccentric. The concentric is where the muscle fibers will essentially tense and kind of cause the muscle to contract, in this case, causing the bicep to contract and the arm to come in. The eccentric is where the muscle fibers relax and allow the arm to come back out. Concentric, eccentric. It's the eccentric, the way back out, which actually causes muscle ache. So the reason you'll find this happens on the eccentric contraction is because the muscle fibers are made up essentially of these kind of fibers and tissues that kind of hook onto each other. And very simply, when the muscle is still tensing, um, contracting, but lengthening the eccentric phase of the contraction, you're more likely just to get little micro tears in the muscles, which is, of course, what causes DOMS. So it was actually when I was reading The Fittest Book in the World by Ross Edgeley that I saw the practical application of this. He described it. Now, Ross Edgeley is an insane human who did a triathlon. Yes, a triathlon. Dragging a tree while doing a, a triathlon. If that process is in your brain, how crazy that is. He did that. But he was specifically talking about this kind of training where you just do concentric contractions when he was training to climb the height of Everest on a rope. Essentially up and down a rope all day long to climb the height of Everest. And he essentially only trained concentric contractions with the bicep and kind of stuff like that specifically because he had to get so much training and endurance training in to be able to climb the rope that long that he couldn't afford to do eccentric contractions and have an aching muscle that, you know, meaning he couldn't train the day after. It's a very interesting application when you look into sports science. Now, while it does seem like a really cool idea to only actively engage in the concentric part of exercise, it's not practical for everyone. Now, while not everyone enjoys DOMS, apart from a few psycho clients of mine, um, it is beneficial for most people, actually. So DOMS is a demonstration, an indication that you have torn the muscle. That's exactly what DOMS is. It's the soreness from a torn muscle. The muscle will tear when you do eccentric contractions. That being, it will grow back stronger. Essentially, the proteins that you eat will come through the bloodstream to this muscle tear and rebuild it stronger. With a stronger, thicker, bigger muscle fiber, you can generate more force. That's why hypertrophy, um, where you actually break down the muscle and grow it bigger, you know, think of a bodybuilder for this example. Hypertrophy blocks are really useful in strength training programs because it helps you generate more force. Um, and then on top of that, if you are looking to become more powerful, a lot of the time you may need more mass. Not only can you, you know, then generate a stronger force from the muscle, but if you have more mass yourself, I know for a fact I was underweight when I was younger, I needed more muscle mass. You know, having more muscle mass, you've only got to look at the equation to generate force to know that mass is a, you know, an integral part of that. So it's really, you know, applicable to most people in most circumstances. Doing only concentric contractions is amazing if you're climbing the height of Everest on a rope or if you are a climber or you're trying to train for a specific, you know, a sport specific movement in a fairly short period of time. Essentially, specific to movement training, you know, the, the theme, the niche on this channel, if you were to train a movement and you need essentially your nervous system to be very used and tuned to that movement, concentrics are a very good way to go. The reason why Ross Edgeley had to focus not only on, you know, doing the contractions, not only for not having Dom so he could train more, it was to train his nervous system for this contraction. Have you ever started training and got massive strength gains in the first couple of months? 
Everyone does, if you train correctly. The reason for this is because the biggest gains you'll have in the beginning are neuromuscular. It's your nervous system learning the movement and you, you know, becoming more efficient at it. Think of your muscle at being only, I don't know the specific numbers or if there are specific numbers, but imagine your muscles in a deadlift only being like 30% efficient when you first do it. You do it more and more and more. And even though there's no muscle growth or very little muscle growth in a few weeks time, your neuromuscular system has made your muscles way more efficient. So rather than 30%, it's more like 60 or 70. That's an example. Don't take it literally. Um, but that is essentially a huge benefit to this kind of training. But like I said, it's very specific. And for most of you out there, a full range of motion, both eccentric and concentric, will be the way to go. That's all I have to say on that. So let me know what you think. And until next time, all the best.